Pioneers pick up the victory 66-60 over the visiting Omaha Mavericks. We're joined by head coach Jim Turgeon. Coach, congratulations on the victory. This was hard fought. There was a yeah. lot of players hitting the deck, yeah. down, knee burns out there, yeah. fighting for loose balls. What was the difference in your mind to the key to this victory? Well, to me, it's very obvious what we worked on all week. It wasn't offense. <laughs> Our offense wasn't very good, but we worked on defense. We put in a you might not have been able to tell uh, out here, but we put a new defense in, and I thought that happened. And then we just absolutely fought for rebounds, fought for loose balls. And, um, you know, when you're struggling, you got to do things like that. You got to do the extras, you know, you know, get on the ground, make, uh, get a loose ball, um, get, the, get a tip and tip it to yourself on a rebound, just stuff like that, and I thought we did that today. Yeah, the effort from my seat over here at the bench was noticeable from yeah. – both ends of the floor, everybody yeah. up and down the roster, everybody got into the game, yep. uh, and everybody made a difference. They were all playing with that extra effort and intensity, yep. and you love to see it. Like you said, coming in, having lost the last four, needed a win here at home, and they got message delivered. <laughs> yeah, you know, uh, I thought one thing, you know, you're gonna, probably going to ask me about Madison's game. It was terrific, but she's been a little banged up, so she only practiced twice this week, and, uh, boy, you could tell a difference in the energy. Um, I thought in the first half, even – when I substituted five people, it wasn't all five at a time, but I, I basically had 10 people in the first six minutes of the game. But even though we quit scoring when I substituted, we still played good defense, and it gave some kids that are playing too many minutes, I think, some time off, uh, some, some rest or whatever. So I thought that was key too. You know, maybe maybe somebody came in the game and didn't score or didn't get a rebound, but I think just giving some of our starters more rest really helped us. Yeah, the entire roster contributed in this one. All right. I am going to ask you about Madison Nelson. New yep. career high, 33 points, 11 double-double, another double-double on the season for her. Um, it, it just it seems endless. Her, yep. You talk about her energy all the time yep. and, and not being able to come out. She had another terrific game. How did she do it? Yeah, well, again, I, I think she would tell you she's, she has an injury that we haven't talked about. And um, she hadn't been herself. Really, she's had – I think she would tell you she's had three bad games in a row, which – was like shocking because she literally had like 20 good games in a row or whatever it was up until that point. But I really think the time off this week and knowing that uh, we've lost four in a row and she hasn't played well um, makes a difference. In, and, you know, she cares. She is simply it's, – sometimes as simple as that is caring. And uh, I'm just proud of her, and I'm just glad she's on our team. Well – also, including the win, it was a big day here. There were a lot of yep. uh, alumni here. It was yes. alumni day. They met earlier, shoot around yep. earlier. So what does that mean for the program to have so many former players back here cheering on yep. this current roster, this current team, and just see, you know, the history of the program and how yep. many great players have come through here? Well, th this is my third year, and this was by far the best uh, response we've had uh, with alumni. Uh, they came to, we had an open shoot around today, today and our kids were really focused and there was an energy in the building. And then we went and ate together and uh, uh, there was an energy in the room. And, I, and when I spoke to the alumni, I said, uh, you know, I don't know if you guys know, but we've lost four in a row and there's a different energy today. And I really think it's because of you. Uh, I would like to get alumni more involved. I, I think there's something out there that people are thinking I don't care about alumni. I absolutely do. If you're listening to this, Shoot me an email so I have your correct email address, your phone number, because uh, I want to do more stuff, more things like this. I think it's important for our players, and I think it's important to honor our players that have really paved the way for us. Yeah, they got honored at halftime. It was yeah. great to see some of the former players out there and some familiar names to Pioneer fans. Okay, Coach, you get back in the winning uh, ways here, back in the win column. you got to turn this forward. you got a road trip coming up to North Dakota. Yep. you got to play North Dakota, North Dakota State. How do you carry some of this momentum and confidence they got from the way they played? I know you're working on some defensive stuff yep. to get it going and pick up a road win. Well, it, for any team, it's, it's about confidence and momentum. Um, I, I thought – since the South Dakota State game, we've been playing pretty decent. We just we couldn't make plays when it mattered, and we really didn't make plays when it mattered either today. But we had enough defensive stops to to do it, and so I think this gonna, especially with girls, I think confidence goes a long way. Um, so I think the confidence alone is going to help us play better on the road. You know, we had I don't know if we've won a road game this year, and so we've been talking about we're going to talk about that a lot this week, and uh, you know, hopefully we'll carry some of that toughness we had. Because if you can't rebound, you don't take care of the ball, you have no chance on the road. And I thought we did very good in those two things today. Coach, congrats on the win and good luck right. up in North Dakota. Pioneers victorious 66-60 over Omaha.